today we are going to discuss about battery management system what is a battery management system a battery management system is an electronic system that manages a rechargeable battery lithium ion battery one of the most common batteries in an electric vehicle is costly and prone to damages the lifespan of the battery is very important in an electric vehicle the chances of thermal runaway is high in a lithium ion battery and each cell has to be individually monitored to prevent the damage with proper thermal management and power management a battery shall be operated optimally to get maximum out of it what are the functions of a battery management system the primary function of a battery management system is to protect the battery from damages in a wide range of operating conditions the the operation of battery out of its safe operating area is prevented using a battery management system there are internal switches to isolate the battery when it tends to operate outside of its safe operating area the bms requests the device to reduce the power demand from the battery it actively controls the environment using coolers heaters and fans a battery management system has the following functions it monitors voltage current state of charge state of health depth of discharge state of power and coolant flow using the above parameters a bms calculates a few parameters that are useful to protect the battery for example maximum charge current maximum discharge current energy delivered since last charge internal impedance of the cell charge stored in the battery total energy delivered since first use total operation time since first use total number of cycles a battery management system communicates with low level hardware using sensors and human machine interface using can bus the instrumental cluster in an electric vehicle indicates the user information from the battery management system the most important functions of a bms are over current protection over voltage protection under voltage protection over temperature protection under temperature protection over pressure protection and leakage current detection a bms acts as an intermediate device that connects battery from the load to prevent excessive load changes to protect the battery cell balancing to improve the performance of a battery is another function of bms all the cells in a battery are being kept at a constant soc by dissipating excess charge in some cells regulated charging to the cells and shutting off some cells we will publish another video about cell balancing soon Please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified when I publish another video. You can have a look at the block diagram of a BMS. The following are the main components of a battery management system. First one, current sensor. The total current and currents in individual cells of the battery are sensed to calculate the total energy that is stored and utilized from the battery. The current consumption over time give you the total energy remaining in the battery. Number 2, voltage sensor. Cell voltage and battery voltage monitoring are two functions of a battery management system in an electric vehicle. The voltage sensors connected to the battery monitors the open circuit voltage and the potential difference when the battery is loaded. The health of the battery is highly dependent on the cell voltages. The voltage range where the battery is allowed to charge and discharge should be strictly followed for the best performance of the battery. For example, a lithium ion battery of nominal voltage 3.6 volt has a minimum and maximum voltage range of 2.8 and 4.2 volt respectively one method used to check if the battery is fully charged is measuring the open circuit voltage thus the charging of the battery can be regulated number 3 static switches and controllers each cell packed in a battery is individually monitored using a battery management system the static switches such as fet and the controller together connects and disconnects the battery from load and the charging circuit if necessary number 5 temperature sensor a lithium ion battery which is a common electric vehicle battery technology is highly sensitive to temperature a short circuit results in consecutive heat generation and thermal runaway in a battery the temperature affects the efficiency of the battery as well so a thermal management system is highly important in a lithium ion battery Active cooling might be triggered sensing the temperature of cells in a battery pack to prevent them from fire. Number 5 battery state estimation algorithm. Two important parameters of a battery are state of health and state of charge. The state of charge indicates the charge level of the battery in percentage. There are two types of SOCs, absolute SOC and relative SOC. The absolute SOC is the SOC of the battery when it is new. As the battery ages its capacity reduces. Relative SOC considers the capacity fade also into account. Generally the term SOC refers to R SOC. The state of health indicates the ability of the battery to perform as if it is new. The SOH or state of health is defined as the ratio of the current energy capacity of the battery to the energy capacity of the battery when it was new. There are different algorithms to calculate the state of charge of the battery. They are coulomb counting method, open circuit voltage method, impedance measurement method, artificial neural network fuzzy logic method, state space model with kalman filter method, etc. The state of health calculation includes the number of charge discharge cycle calculations. Number 6 user interface. 
The user interface indicates the status of the battery and other relevant information to the user. Any input from the user would also be sent to the battery management system if necessary from the user interface. Number 7. Mathematical model of the battery. A battery model is necessary to check the working of a battery management system. A model developed from mathematical equations can be used for analyzing a BMS. Number 8. Real time clock. To timestamp the data, energy estimation, estimation of the life, etc. requires a time signal. A real-time clock in a BMS helps out here. Number 9. Memory. The data collected and processed will be stored for further analysis. Life estimation, state of health estimation, etc. requires initial data that stored in the memory. What are the factors to be considered while designing a BMS? First one, the power consumption of BMS should be as minimum as possible. A BMS will be connected to the battery. It is always better to have a low power consumption for the BMS. Second one, ideal power consumption should be minimum. A BMS monitors even if the battery is not in use, so the ideal power consumption of the BMS should be as minimum as possible. A BMS shall be operated using the energy that stored in a battery that it monitors. Additional power sources to operate the BMS shall be avoided by use of the energy from the battery that it monitors. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get more videos about electric vehicles.